So Mind Shield, the name says what we are trying to do. We are essentially trying to build a shield for your mind in the digital world. We started two years ago when I completed my thesis on understanding the impact of emerging technologies, specifically AI, neural technologies like Neuralink and AR, VR, XR, so virtual worlds, how these technologies would impact human cognition, impact social behavior, impact psychological well-being and then security as a whole. And so from that research, I decided to start MindShield Institute as a think tank. For the last two years, we have been a think tank exploring this topic, understanding how do we build true human resilience that's technology agnostic and timeless. And then in the last six months, we realized that we had actually developed a technology that could be used both in the mental health space and in the cybersecurity space to solve for some of the biggest challenges that we are currently facing, such as social engineering, scams, cyberbullying, radicalization, misinformation, defects, as well as um, problems that we see evolving in the future that we still not even started talking about, such as what happens when people have brain-computer interfaces, how does that affect their decision-making, what is brain data hacking, um, what happens if people start living more and more in virtual reality as opposed to physical reality, and, and many more topics like that. So Canada is at a very pivotal moment in time right now. You know, for, for a very long time, it has been dependent on other countries and other technologies to really harness its cybersecurity. But I think it has realized, and there's a wake-up call that we have had since COVID especially, that we need to really bring it back home. We need to focus on Canadians. We need to build Canadian resiliency. And the solutions need to be made here. We are also moving towards large amounts of investment, not just financial, but economic, social investment to really start solving for these problems. So Canada is at a prime time with its geopolitical position as well to really be innovative and forward thinking in terms of innovation, technology and business, especially in the cyberspace. And in Cyber Forum has been, well, actually MindShield was born at this conference three years ago. When I first started my presentations in public speaking, I was focused on the mental health industry. It just so happened that I got picked up by some people in cybersecurity, and then they called me to speak here. It was my first cybersecurity conference ever. I had no idea what cybersecurity was, what I was doing, before I realized, oh my God, the problems that are being faced here, such as scam social engineering, which haven't been solved yet, come down to the same basic things, which is humans being manipulated. And we haven't figured out how to help humans recognize, resist, and respond to manipulation. And that is the biggest cyber threat, right? Be it in the cybersecurity domain, cognitive security, cognitive warfare, information warfare, all of it, right? It goes from helping someone not lose their bank savings to protecting an organization to maintaining national democratic resilience. And Psychology is the base of all of that. So InCyber gave me the first platform to really share my views and the research. And since then, the people I have met, the community I have met, the support I have got has propelled this idea from just being something in my head to something that's now out in the world and something that's actually making impact. So I have a very deep, um, heartfelt connection to this conference and the organizers of this conference. So I was really surprised, but not surprised about this award because surprised because, um, you know, we are so early in this entire field of cyber psychology, but what we are creating, the systems and the solutions we are bringing, everything from the cognitive risk assessments to mapping cognitive traits and cognitive risks to cyber behaviors, creating psychocognitive profiles of people so we can hyper-personalize training, improve red teaming, improve judgment, decision-making, team optimization, all of that, seems like a no-brainer solution to the next evolution of cybersecurity. And I think that for the last 50 years, cybersecurity has been seen as a purely computational problem from a computational lens, a tech and IT problem. And we are finally bringing in 
psychology, neuroscience, behavioral economics, and the human sciences into this field. And I think people already realize the need for that. It's just not really happened before because the field is new. As we were pitching, I felt that light bulb, light bulb, light bulb. I think everyone, as soon as they hear what we are doing, it's a no-brainer and it makes sense. So the fact that we won this award and the fact that they believe in it is a validation to the future of this field. It's not really even about MindShield, right? MindShield is just the vehicle. I really care about this field of cyber psychology because I think it's a field of the future. It's going to be as mainstream of a field as cybersecurity. And finally bringing in people from different domains into the tech world instead of these barriers that we see in cybersecurity, right? So breaking down those barriers, allowing diversity of thought, diversity of industries and fields to finally start building a field that merges humans and technology because that's what's going to happen in the future. We are already merging with technology. Look at our phones, right? Look at technologies in our body, maybe eventually in our brains. So we need to start preparing for that yesterday. But I'm glad that we are doing it today.